When you think students, do you think leaders? And if you're a student, do you consider yourself to be a leader? I remember when I was a fresher and someone first called out a leadership gift in me and they told me that they saw it in me and I was like, huh, do you mean me? Do you not mean the other blonde fresher? I don't know if you've got the right person here, but I was so surprised. But actually these guys saw in me a gift that I didn't even know I had at this point. And they gave me the opportunity to have a go, to grow in that gift and to safely be released and start to develop and grow as a leader in a church context. And leaders are people who are disciples of Jesus, who are filled with the spirit and devoted and surrendered to him. And right through scripture, we see Jesus releasing his disciples and giving them the opportunity to join in with him and what he's doing. Right at the beginning of Luke, we see Jesus calling his first disciples and he sends them out to go fishing. And then he says, and now you will fish for men. Then he sends out the 12 and he says, go and proclaim the kingdom of heaven and heal the sick. He sends them out to join in and releases them in the gifts they've got, for example, the gift of healing. And then with the feeding of the 5,000, just after this, we hear the disciples say to Jesus, send everyone away, they're hungry. And Jesus says, no, you give them something to eat. And he broke the bread and he sent them out to join in with what he was doing. And then again, Jesus sends out the 72 to join in with what he's doing. And actually Christian leaders are people that listen to God, that know his voice and are up for joining in with him and what he's doing. Some of the students at my church recently, they lead a student group and we've got a little plan. All of the student groups in our church community follow the same plan. So we're all journeying the same thing together. But what I love about the story I'm about to tell you is that students weren't just leaders released to administrate our vision as their leaders, but to, but to listen to the voice of God and to be released by him. And they decided one week that they felt God was saying to them, don't do, don't do the plan listen to me and I've got something I want to do this evening. I want to move among this group. So they were bold and they're brave. They put down the plan and they listened to God. They said, come Holy Spirit. And they were led by him. And that evening, people in their group were released in gifts. So we saw people released in the gift of healing. They saw people healed. And actually this story is a story of students being bold in being released in what they carry and released by Jesus. And we had a role to play in releasing them to lead. And actually, students are a gift to our community. We are all created with so many good gifts from God. And as a church, we function so much better when we're all operating in the gifts that we've been given, including students. Let's not just feed them when they show up and let them have a nice time for a couple of years. These are people that can lead our kids and our youth, for sure. They can lead each other and they can lead the wider community within our church too. We as the church are so much richer when we have students leading us as well. Often students have said, go and find a church at uni so you don't lose out your faith. No, 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 no. Go and find a church at uni to be released in all of the gifts that you carry and all the gifts that God has given you. We as a church are so much richer when we have students bringing all that they have. We need students as the local church as much as students need the local church. Not only do we want to see students released in the gifts that they carry in a church context, we want to see them released as leaders in all spheres of society. In their hockey teams or their netball teams, maybe they're leading in societies like Just Love, leading in their halls, or even just in friendships, simply leading as people who are full of kindness and grace because they know who God is. Students leading in their lecture theatres, in spheres of academia. And in Luke's video, he talked about how many world leaders studied in the UK. We want to see Christian leaders released to be people who join in with our prayer to see God's kingdom come here on earth as it is in heaven.